Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're exploring the remarkable story of Ladislav Bezak, a Czechoslovakian airline pilot who boldly flew his family to freedom, breaking through the Iron Curtain. Bezak earned the distinction of being the world's first aerobatic champion, renowned for his unmatched talent and groundbreaking innovation in aviation. He piloted a Lean Z226T two-seat trainer, showcasing his aerobic prowess in competitions and displays. One of his most notable achievements is the creation of the iconic Lomsovak maneuver. Let's look at this maneuver today. On August 20th, 1968, the Soviet Union spearheaded Warsaw Pact troops in invading Czechoslovakia to suppress reformist movements in Prague. This intensified the hardships faced by the population, sparking a mass exodus from the country. Amidst this turmoil, Bezak meticulously and covertly devised an escape plan for himself and his family. On December 19, 1971, he squeezed his wife and his four young sons into the front seat of his lean airplane. From the back seat, he took the controls and lifted off from a smaller airport near Prague. Setting his course westward, he aimed towards the West German border, approximately 70 miles away. Within only minutes of the departure, his airplane was detected. A Czechoslovak Air Force MiG-15, flown by pilot Karel Fiedler, was directed to intercept and immediately shoot down the fleeing aircraft. Upon visual contact, he fired a red flare, signaling Bezak to follow. When the target did not follow the instructions, he was ordered to fire shots. He fired and missed. Did pilot Karel Fiedler see the children on the plane and disobey orders? After all, he was obligated to obey orders and could be court-martialed, or worse, if he disobeyed. Bezak later said that he performed some aerobatic-style maneuvering and quickly dropped the Zlin by 4,000 feet, where he slipped it into a heavy cloud layer. But the MiG can travel at 740 miles per hour while the Zlin travels at only 150 miles per hour, and they could literally see each other in the sky. Remaining within the cloud, Bezak maintained the westerly heading. 30 minutes later, having judged themselves to be well inside West Germany, Bezak emerged from the clouds and soon landed safely at Nuremberg Airport with his family. Their flight to freedom captured global attention, and the West German government subsequently granted Bezak and his family political asylum. But there's so much more to this story. In today's post on Patreon, I share more about Bezak and his life, as well as information on his aerobatic maneuvers, his life in Canada owning a motel, his pilot son, and I even include a special attachment that features more about the MiG pilot who may have allowed him and his family to get away. Be sure to join me on Patreon to access this post and similar content. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.